Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to solve a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. So before we begin, I'm going to teach you the Rubik's Cube um, notation, and this can work on any type of cube. But here, this side, the side that faces you, is the front side. We call that F. So that's the front side. This is the left side. This is the right side. This is the upside. And this is the downside. So, this would be U, this would be R, this would be L, and this would be D. So, if I was to say up inverted, it would be, we'd pretend that we're facing the upside, and then we'd turn it counterclockwise. That's what inverted means. And then, um, just up would be the exact opposite. So, um, left inverted would be this. Right inverted would actually be the exact opposite, because they're on opposite sides of each other. So you don't want to get that confused. So, um, yeah. So let's go ahead and scramble our cube. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, I like scramble enough. So, um, I, I, I actually forgot to tell you something. Um, instead of orange pieces, I have purple. Instead of white, I have black. So, if you ever hear me say black or purple, I really just mean orange and white. But it really doesn't matter. So, um, what we, what we first need to do is we need to get a black layer. Or a white layer. Now, this is the black side. Let me show it to you real quickly. Now that is the um, black side. See, it has black on it, except these pieces on the sides do not match up. Well, that one does, but they don't all match up. So we need to get something kind of like this. See, like that. That's one whole layer finished. So you you should be able to come up with the first layer on your own. Um, if you just got your Rubik's Cube, um, today, or whether you got it, um, maybe a month ago, you sh you should have always, when you're trying to solve it, you should have gotten one layer, but you probably don't know how to, you know, get the rest of the cube. So, once you've finished the first two layers, I mean the first layer, sorry, you need to line up one of these four pieces so it's in the correct place. So the opposite of black, or I should say white, would be yellow. So, um, <clears throat> that, look at one piece that's pointing up yellow. If you don't have any that are pointing up yellow, you need to perform this algorithm. Up, left inverted, um, up inverted, and then put it back down, and do this. So, um, that should switch another one up here into the correct position. I mean, so that one is pointing up yellow. So yeah. Now, then you want, what you want to do is you want to line it up like that so it's in the correct place. And then you want to check all of these other pieces. Um, for instance, if all of your pieces are in the correct place, now yellow does not have to be pointing up. It you just one of them does. So as you can see, this piece is the wrong place because it's red, blue, and yellow. So, oh, purple, blue, and yellow. So, if we go back to this piece, we need to perform the algorithm. Up, right, up inverted, and then pull up the left side. And then you want to put that piece over here, put it down. This piece, put it over here, and then put it down. So... I might have not finished it, but we did we definitely move the pieces around. So you want to keep on repeating this until you get two together. So. Uh, still nothing. Sometimes you need to um, try doing a different piece. So actually, we did get two like that. Now these ones aren't matched bashed up, but we got these. 
Now sometimes when you do get these two, these two are already in the correct place, but that didn't happen with me. Now if they are all in the correct place, you can just skip this step. Um, I'll tell you, just, you don't have to do this. You need to make sure the two meshing up are in the back, and then perform that exact same algorithm. Like that. And then do one final turn. And if I'm correct, you've put up every single one at its correct place. Now sometimes you have to repeat this, you know, from right here, but I don't want to mess this up. So, once you have that, you're going to flip um, all four pieces. I only need to flip three. You may need to flip either um, three or two. So let's go ahead and flip them. And then, I don't really think it takes a genius to figure out, you know, what you do from here. If you really can't figure this out, um, I don't, I have no idea how you got this far. And there, it's solved. Now, if you mess up, just try again. Don't, just, don't get discouraged because I got discouraged a lot when I tried to solve my um, three by three Rubik's cube, and I finally learned how to do it. And um, I, I even quit trying to solve it for a while. But yeah, so just just keep on practic practicing this method until you get really fast at it. it. Takes me about two minutes. Well, yeah. Bye.